Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you the best export settings inside of Premiere Pro. So to begin with, I've already finished editing a short video, and I'm going to click anywhere inside of the timeline to select it, and then go up to File, Export, Media. And this will bring up the Export Settings dialog box, and there are a lot of settings in here, but I'm going to simplify things for you. I'm going to click inside of the Format menu and choose H.264, which is the most common form of compression in use today, and it will essentially generate an MP4 file. And inside of the Preset menu, I'm going to click there, and there are a lot of options in here. Now, a commonly used one is called Match Source High Bitrate, but the one that I like the best is actually Match Source Adaptive High Bitrate. And the reason I like this one is because if you have a high resolution video, it will increase the bitrate and generate a larger file. If you have a low resolution video, it will lower the bitrate and generate a smaller file. So it's more intelligent. And so I like that. Next to the output name, I'm going to click on the output name and then go to my desktop. So the file will get saved here, um, but of course you can choose whatever location you want. And then I'm going to go toward the bottom, and there's a setting called Use Maximum Render Quality. If you select that, then it will often increase the quality of the file, um, but it may take a little bit longer to export, but that's okay. Down here where it says estimated file size, it's actually giving you an estimate of the final export, which can be useful. And then finally, I'm going to click on the export button and wait. Um, depending on the length of the video and the speed of your computer, this might take a little bit of time. And now the file has been exported successfully. So if I go back to my computer, uh, right here on the desktop, I can see my exported file. I can play it right away just simply by double-clicking it, um, and I can also take this file and upload it to social media, my YouTube channel, my website. I can share it with other people. So that is pretty much the entire process. So back inside of Premiere Pro, it all started by clicking inside of the timeline and then going to File, Export, Media. So I hope that was uh, helpful to you. Uh, leave a comment and let me know if you have any questions. And I will see you in the next video. And in the meantime, keep learning and growing.